Isn't she so pretty when she looks across the water? So, from a working class background, good education, I met this guy at 15. And Leonardo talks in his notebooks if anyone's bothered to read them, because most people say, oh, how do you know that? I say, I've got to the library and read. I read a lot. Um, I don't mean you're clever, it's not about being clever, it's about soaking up the things that are interesting to you. Could be a page out of the Leonardo book that makes sense one day to you. So John said to me, never do this. Always dip into what you're doing. He said, you can pick up a book and you can't put that down. The odd book you can read cover to cover. He said, life's like that. The odd thing, you can just pick up a line or one page makes sense out of that book there and you can't read it anymore because of how you're feeling or the other things you're doing that day. But he said that one page could be more important than rushing through a whole book or, or reading the whole book if you really listen to that page or you take in what it said on that, that uh, on a paragraph even. So this is all to do with that. Now John picked up on what I loved doing and he said, you didn't treat me any better than any other students, we're all treated the same. Uh, there's no better and worse, as I said at the start of this talk, there's no better and worse than that. These abilities, these technical abilities, these aspects of colour and different things where you can say someone's very competent or very good at it, don't mean that expression is, because I've done talks in Marple, like I said, and I've been to the art club there, and a lady come up to me with a, a, some drawings of flowers she got, they're beautiful actually, really nice. Other people said they weren't good. Some people in the group said, oh, I don't like them. I said, yeah, that's fair. I said, thanks for being honest. I said, no, that's good. But if you see something you don't like, isn't it best to, to let that person grow, pick out what they've done that's best, and then tell them at the end, what, and be honest, always be honest with what you didn't let do, because you're, you're lying then. You're, not, you're cheating them out of your honesty and their potential. So... Um, so, not to get complicated, that's the general feel of, of what I was doing. Now, when I, when I was 16, uh, uh, 15, I entered this into a competition, which is a bit, it's a bit more social commentary stuff, but it's a drawing of a, a little kid on the fence who's not unforgiving, but he's, he's been through terrible things at five. And I wanted to show that unforgiving, almost um, uh, hard, almost grown up look you're getting some children who have it very difficult you get this abroad actually a certain look of people um can i can i ask you john what sorry the these the things that you pass around and that one there oh, yeah, what is it, what is yeah. it that's um, the original one it's not been out since so that was a is it a pencil drawing that was um entered for um, a competition that my art teacher entered with uh out of the drawers because they used to take your work out in the uh, drawing marble and they'd enter it, because they knew I wouldn't enter a competition. I, I'm not competitive, but I'm competitive with myself, like in the pictures. sense that I try to do the best ever I can do. But with other people, everyone's unique. The point that people keep forgetting about being good at what you do is every single person's unique at what we do. Now, other people say, ah, oh, yeah, come on, John, really. Like, you know, some people are very ignorant, or they, 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 this, that, and the other. They'll say, uh, or they'll start devaluing, but they're only doing that subliminally because maybe they've been devalued, or they're looking at the negative because someone has pointed that out, even it could be the folks or people around them have pointed out how they look, or it can always be the negative. Never listen to the negative. Um, uh, only listen to the negative if it's done in, in a genuine way that will help you go forward. A constructive comment, really. Now this is a couple, and uh, it was <laughs> they made me laugh, really. A bit, they were a bit, they were a bit humpy with me drawing them, and they said, uh, what are you doing? I said, I'm just doing some sketches. It's a couple on Ashton Market, and they looked pretty worn out and tired and that, but they, she was quite comical, actually. A good sense of you, man. And I'll pass that round, and that was just, you pass them round, yeah, just look at themselves. He was very grumpy actually, and he was one of them people who sulk. It made me laugh because he was a real. She said he's a real sulker, John. <coughs> so he my husband just said he, me, it's over and done in five minutes. But everyone's different, aren't they? With moods, if you disagree, and some people take days to forgive someone, and then, but when they forgive, they forgive, they get on with it. Um, so, so I like the idea of that because she, she just sort of looked at him and said, you know, that's how it is. But it said everything on his face actually. Um, she said, I'll get over it. Uh, some of the disagreed with it, I don't know. But uh, that was the characters on Ashton Mountain. Now, <coughs> when I was young again, 
I did the a little charcoal of myself when I was yeah, in the mirror, uh, just sort of sketching. And my auntie, who was looking after me at the time, um, mum had been ill, she said, uh, in Marple, which was in uh, Marple Ridge, she said, um, Thank you. Uh, oh, that's really, she said it's caught, I was quite, um, and then, uh, sort of, quite a, how could you say, uh, energetic person, and very um, harem scare yeah, she said, she said, you're always busy doing something, running around or doing something, and um, so that's an early portrait from a mirror, uh, done uh, when I was, um, probably, like I say, just going into the secondary school. That's a woman gawping, she said. She called it, it's an old northern term of gawping, looking at someone. Um, and yet I've done the big portraits, the, the ones where, you know, it's more like John Singer Sargent, the real, more traditional pictures. Uh, that made me laugh, because when I said before, oh, things aren't, can, you've got to be, not competitive with yourself, but try the best yourself, what you can do. Um, that's called my patch. And it was just the cat that reflected part of what I've just said. That it was a cat that wouldn't let the other cats pass. Because it had its pa yeah, and I like that. It, it, it was stubborn. It actually had quite a grumpy face on it. And it was just saying, this is no further any other cat. And actually, look, if you were a cat, you'd be scared of it. Um, and that, that, again, you can pass around. That's, and the tail looked like a firework to me. Looked like an explosion of, not anger, but of... So I use things that come into my mind. And then I play around with them, and then I'll I'll sort of develop that idea. 